The demonstrators had a message for the opposition militias in Yarmouk. Get out. The Syrian army was escorting them in. The opposition had warned they would not allow the demonstration. Our army guide would be shot and injured. What happened next was inevitable. Back they came. There's already the first injured man. He's being carried away. They swore they would oppose this march, and the armed groups in there have already injured at least one man, and I think there's going to be more. They are determined not to let this demonstration get into Yarmouk. Panic as civilians fled. Those sheltering in a mosque were told to leave in case of mortar fire. At least five demonstrators and three soldiers were shot. The army claims it killed ten fighters. Many said the opposition militia were foreigners. He's not Syrian. He's not, he's not Arab. Animals. He's not Arab. He's, 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 he's his people, his people from, from Qatar or from Saudi Arabia or from somewhere. He's coming. He's, he's paying money for him. Can people. The civilians had to flee for their lives. There have been injuries, and we think some of them were taken by the armed groups. What's happening now is a Syrian army special unit has gone up there as a standoff, and the demonstration is over. Now it was just another street battle in Damascus. The government has Yamuk surrounded, but the opposition lines held. Back to the usual sniper fire. Back to where the demonstrators had fled, across the divide. Not everyone here likes the Syrian army, but nor do they like having their district, in their words, occupied by armed gangs. Tim Marshall, Sky News, Damascus.